Yo, it's flipping Eric. Um, today I was going to show you what I scored at the bins up in Portland, Oregon over last weekend. And then maybe some of these uh, little pups here. Had these unexpectedly about 11 days early. Mama is very, very protective. Had seven out of the litter. They are American bullies and extremely cute. I think they're all sold, but if you're interested, you can DM me anyway. So let's go over the bin stuff. So it's been a long couple days. Did not expect that. Like I say, they were early, early, um, like two weeks early. So I've been tired. Woke up in the middle of the night and she was in uh, labor. So I was going to show you a couple things that you might want to keep an eye out for at the bins. Um, I like not the normal everyday stuff that... I don't know. There's, I'm not going to name names, but there's a lot of people that just buy the book. You can just carry, you know, certain things or certain brands, but, um, which I do, but I like one-offs. Okay. For example, this is a, a Lakers Snuggie. So if you haven't been to the bins, uh, everything that day was a dollar 29 a pound, I believe. I think, um, Anyway, that's a, that's a Lakers Snuggie. Um, anything Lakers will sell because LA is, they think they're the best team in the world, but whatever. Um, brand new Nike slippers. Anything Nike will sell if it's brand new. At least, I mean, so I paid eight. I paid up for those and then they were eight bucks. I think that was not by the pound. I got that from the other Goodville store. Um... This other thrift shop has a day where things go free. And this one was actually free. So uh, check out with your local stores. Sometimes that'll happen. So some other things from the bins. Um, look for the tag. Uh, like that's vintage Nike if it's got a tag like that. I don't believe you'll find most Nike things with tags these days. I could be wrong, but... Um, so anything graphic like that. So this is from Bend, Oregon, 2008. Um, and it's a nice sweater. Probably paid, what, 50 cents for it in the lot. But just that graphic alone is going to get you 20 bucks profit. And they will pay shipping. Guaranteed. When they want that, they'll pay shipping. Okay, I think... I don't know if this is Andrew Bynum. Um, I've never seen... A Lakers jersey like this. Honestly, it looks like a baseball jersey, but uh, I, I, I don't know. But since it says Lakers on it, someone's going to buy it. Okay, so usually I don't do uh, fun run type of things. Like this is a, a Twilight XC Invitational fun run, looks like to me. Um, and usually somebody that's if they didn't run in that, they're not going to buy it, right? But if it's in good condition um, and it's vintage and it's really graphic, like, you know, you got the skeleton right there and all that. Um, you got the girl and the guy running from the house and they're scared. You know, that kind of thing is going to sell even if they didn't run in that race. So um, got this costume here. Um, it's basically... A woman's uh, NASA suit, but it is for Halloween. It looks like it's legit, like it would be. Uh, it would be authentic, almost. But it says Halloween's.com or something like that. So, anything healthcare related, I gave this to my girlfriend because she is a badass nurse. Just saying. But anything healthcare related will do well for you. Uh, these are more things that are, were free um, from that uh, day. <coughs> Sorry, the free day. A few more items that I scored at the bins um, per pound. Keen. If you find Keen shoes, they're really easy to clean up because they're durable and you can just, you know, wipe them up. And make them look great. Brand new. Those are 130 bucks or something like that. 
running shoes right now. Everybody has their New Year's uh, rev rev resolution. Um, so if you can get a good price on any of those, pick them up. Uh, more keen, even if they're not in the best shape. If they're under five, six, seven bucks, guaranteed you get a $20 bill out of that profit after all fees and shipping. Boots. If you know anything about boots, I don't even have to say another word. Okay, these are Merrill. Are they Merrill? Let's see. Oh, yes, Merrill brand shoes. Don't forget about those. Okay, because... There's a lot of people that wear Nike, but there's more housewives in this world that wear Merrill shoes at the store. Just saying. And Red Day, it was half off. So yeah, not all of this I got by the pound. Oh, one thing I did get at the bins by the pound. I could, I left the store and I couldn't find the other Nike shoe, Nike golf shoe, and couldn't find, uh, or just forgot that I didn't find it. So. Now I'm going to sell one shoe for maybe a one-legged guy, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, another big thing you should work out, work out look out for is um, nursing shoes. So these are Keen brand, and they're not specifically nursing shoes, but this is the style and type that they like to wear. Uh, I've got other videos with different brands of nursing shoes, which I think I have some in here. But anything healthcare is huge right now, and they don't have time to go look for crap, so they're gonna buy it online from your store. Uh, Starbucks. If you don't know about Starbucks right now, it's going insane, insanity. These are French, they're from Canada, and they're very um, hard to find. So I paid like nine for the lot, and they'll each go for 10 to, I don't know, 15 bucks. Depends on how I want to list them if I want to wait. Okay, more athletic shoes. Always watch out. Um, I bought this wetsuit, which was the heaviest thing I bought and probably added a good $20 to the order. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but that right there, I expect about 50 bucks. The whole haul was 59 so... I don't know. I feel great about it. Um, some things I just grab because it says made in USA and cost about 10 cents, right? Clothing, I've started to be a lot more selective. Um, I do get Nike. Um, I do get like one-offs, like this vintage smuggling t-shirt. Anything that is related to what's that day in march st patty's pick that up but list it like right away um so that right there anything 90s rap related if it's actually um vintage does great cds have done great right now So that's why you know, some of this stuff wasn't from there. Oh, the clapper. You guys have been looking at the clapper. These do well. And this is brand new in the box. Um, it's open. I had to open it to make sure everything was there. So these are more bin items. Not everything is brand new per se, but everything's in good condition. You don't have a lot of time to uh, check brands, but if you have an inkling, just grab it and then find a corner and start scanning with your phone. You know, um, Nike shorts. Of course, I'm going to grab those, right? Uh, beer shirts. I don't even know what brand this is, but I remember looking it up. Oh, wait. Christine Alexander. So that's all right. Oh, here's a good one. Chest of the uh, molesters going for about eight bucks. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'll use it for target practice. Other things I found at the bin, brand new Lucky Brand shoes. So 
Typically, what I have gathered is that these shoes are going to be B-grade shoes, which means something happened to the factory that they thought made it not perfect. And so what I think, there was a couple threads sticking off of it, and I cut them off, and they look perfect. I'm still going to list them as B-grade, but that's okay. I mean, they're very unique. Um, okay, so some, okay, Dance Go. That is a shoe you want to watch, watch out for. That is a highly coveted um, nursing shoe. So these supposedly are like excellent on your foot. These are brand new, B grade, I'm guessing. And I don't know, I'll probably make a hundred dollars profit off of those. Oh, and then here's another dance go. This is the one most nurses will use, uh, or doctors, not just saying nurses, but. <clears throat> so those, and then geez, Nike golf balls. I sold a pack of Nike golf balls for 80, was it 88 bucks? Because they don't make them anymore. Crazy, crazy. You know I gotta get the Nike Dunks. Pretty sick, right? Some guy wants to trade me those for some New Balance. And guess what? I'm gonna do it because New Balance sells faster than Nike. Can you believe that? So I'm gonna bug my dog one more time and then say goodbye to y'all. All these little pups. Huh. Hey, Con. Hey. Seven American bullies, all in one. It was a long night, but we're doing good. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's happy. So take care and stay safe, everybody. Peace out. Talk to you later. Mm-hmm. <laughs>